going to watch this short three and a half minute presentation and it could account for plasma fire both naturally occurring and artificially induced and directed energy and remember this presentation was made three years ago when we were in a solar minimum In recent months, the Earth's magnetic field has been very quiet due to a solar minimum, which has been described as one of the deepest in the past century. Geomagnetic storms have become something of a rarity these days, as solar activity has become almost non-existent. Then something occurred on June the 23rd that had solar scientists scratching their heads, as instruments in the UK suddenly registered a magnetic anomaly. The local magnetic field began to oscillate with a continuous wave that rippled around the globe, lasting for more than 30 minutes. So what could have caused an unexpected electrical disturbance to take place? There was no solar or geomagnetic storm to cause the disturbance. Nothing was showing on the NOAA satellites for June the 23rd, that would indicate an uptick in solar wind speed. Indeed, there was nothing showing that could explain the disturbance. So what could be the cause of a sudden electrical surge that was strong enough to vibrate around the world? In the Lofoten Islands of Norway, a similar magnetic anomaly was detected on the magnometer. According to observations, the anomaly was quite spectacular. The magnetic field was swinging back and forth by about one-third of a degree. Ground currents were also detected with an almost identical 10-minute period. This is the second time in less than six months that an unexpected electrical surge and magnetic anomaly has been reported from Norway. On January the 6th of this year, sudden electrical currents started flowing creating strong variations in the ground currents and the local magnetic field. The magnetic disturbance was captured by sensors at the Polar Light Center Observatory in Lofoten, Norway. Scientists described it as some type of a shock wave. It came as a total surprise. Fifteen minutes prior to the electrical surge on January the 7th, a NASA spacecraft recorded anomalies in the interplanetary magnetic fields situated near Earth, accompanied by an increase in solar wind density five times greater than usual. Scientists call the phenomenon strange, suspecting that the Earth may have crossed through some fold in the heliospheric current sheet. What was even more peculiar was that the electrical current flowing through the ground managed to electrify the sky with unexpected vivid auroras. It is uncertain as to the exact cause of this magnetic anomaly, but space scientists often refer to the phenomenon as a pulsation being continuous where fluttering waves flank the Earth's uh, magnetosphere even in the quiet moments of solar minimum, where waves can still be heard like a pin dropping in a room void of activity. On the day of June 23rd, the Earth's magnetic field was so quiet that the ripple was heard all across the world. The global network of magnetic observatories picked up wave activity from Hawaii to China to the Arctic Circle. Even in Antarctica, there was a sense that something unusual had occurred with the magnetic field. So what he's showing you here is that a fluctuation in the magnetic field coincides with a surge of ground current. And on that day, there was no solar wind, there wasn't a solar flare that was hitting up against our magnetic field that would account for this, which means this might be artificially induced through technology.
something I've heard of called SMAC, S-M-A-C-C, Solar Magnetic Amplification Causative Configurator, is able to produce the effects of a solar flare and control the timing, location, intensity, and duration of those solar flare effects. You know, like what happened in Car the Carrington event where all the telegraph lines burned because of that large incoming solar flare. Same effect can be produced and you can control the timing, the location, the intensity, and the duration of time that it lasts using this solar magnetic amplification causative configurator system where they stretch one of those magnetic flux lines or two of them and then release them and when they release them it snaps back together like a rubber band <clears throat> like a guitar string vibrating the magnetic field creating that surge of ground current then all you have to do like grounding somehow maybe with the lasers direct that ground current to where you want it to have an effect. 